is happening loud and proud crowd. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. So we are actually on our way down to Red Key, Indiana. It's a maximum overdrive transmission where we just got the transmission built for the third gen Cummins. Now, like I said, many, many times, these guys know their crap and they build really good, awesome, durable built transmissions. They do all different styles, all different stages of transmissions depending on what you're doing. Are you doing dirt drags? Are you doing sled pulling? Are you doing street performance strictly? Are you doing a towing transmission? Like, what do you want? And we will build that transmission for what you want. And that's what they do. And it's really cool because they use top quality parts, top quality builds, and their stuff is just awesome. Look them up on Google, check them out, go get your transmissions built there because they do good. We're gonna be picking up the third gen and then we're going to be taking it back to my wife's parents' house and then um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a review on that truck. Now, why a review on that truck? Well, I want you guys to understand how different the truck drives, and I haven't driven it yet myself, I haven't been down there, but I want you guys to see how the truck drives. Like, he knew exactly what I wanted based on what I said I was gonna be putting under the hood, because the truck is on stock power right now, but when we add a tuner to it, run in some hot tunes, and we get our other stuff under the hood that we're gonna be doing, it's gonna run really, really good. He said that once you do the things that I told him we were gonna get done to it, it's gonna drive amazing. But until then, he's like, it drives like a built transmission with a not quite as built truck. He's like, so if you know what I'm saying, that's all I'm saying, but he's like, it just need, you just need to add a little bit more power to it and it'll just really, really soak up that transmission and use it the way it's supposed to. So anyways, we're gonna get on the road and head on down there to Ridkey, Indiana. We just got the truck picked up from Maximum Overdrive. Jim said this truck is going to drive really good. He's like, you are gonna love the way this thing drives, especially when you start throwing some more power at it. Super excited, we're gonna get down the road here a little bit and we're gonna do a little bit more uh, laying into it and seeing how this thing chefs through the gears. So we're gonna actually go through the build sheet and everything that they did to the transmission on this truck. You can actually see her truck rolling around up there. Not gonna be too long and her truck's gonna need a trans build too if we're gonna do some power stuff. Let's lay into it a little bit right here. We're rolling at 15. Thing freaking pulls. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. This truck definitely scoots now. I mean, it, it's not that the truck has more power added to it, but it's that it can manage the power more effectively. That's that's a big thing. That's the important thing about the transmission upgrade is you because some people might wonder, like, hey dude, if you're not doing tons of power, what's the point of adding a four thousand four to five thousand dollar transmission build? Well it's not because it makes the truck more powerful but it helps deliver the power better to the rear tires or all four for that matter depending on what you're doing and getting that power to the ground and down the road without just like wasting tons of power or in drivability with a crappy transmission that's just you know wasting so much power not getting it to the ground properly so uh, not to mention shift points and everything they've got to be on point and if they're not it's going to definitely hurt you if you're let's say you're trying to drag race your buddies or whatever you're on the drag strip you definitely want a transmission that's built right not to mention just daily use hauling towing all that good stuff a well-built transmission is going to make a huge difference in the longevity of that truck and the way it drives. Funny, I was talking to Jim there at Maximum Overdrive and I said, hey man, I said, how do you think the transmission would have held up if I would have put all the power to it that I'm planning on and not built it? He's like, oh, that trans would have grenaded. He's like, I'm telling you, they just do not hold up amazing. He's like, now? He's like, this transmission solid. Which, I don't know about you guys, but I for one like hearing that. Another sneak peek of those wheels and tires in the back of the wifey's truck. And no, I'm not gonna be installing them in this video. I know you want me to, but I'm not gonna do it. You guys gotta wait until the next video. The video after this one will be the wheel and tire reveal on this third gen. So stay tuned, because I think you guys are gonna really like and you're really gonna fully understand why I've gone with the parts that I have on this truck thus far, and it's gonna tie it all together. <laughs> And you're not that great, man Stop what you're saying Stop what you're making Everybody here knows that you just fake it nah, I don't wanna hear it anymore I don't wanna hear it anymore All these thoughts that you're not what I need anymore I'm about to shut the f*** up on door On all you poor potatoes with your heads in the clouds Talking out loud so proud You better shut your mouth Before I do more speak out It's about to hit
Well, as you can see, according to the traffic behind me and backed up all the way to the highway, we are officially to the city. Like, obviously, it's like the busiest couple hours of the day, but it is always super freaking busy here. Like, I cannot take it. That's why, like, I'm always, like, saying I want to live out in the country, out in the country, out in the country, because, like, I cannot do this. I'm actually going to get underneath and show you the transmission on it right now because he did say that they did a bunch of stuff to it. So here's actually all of the stuff that they did to the transmission. So as you can see, power wedge, output shaft, speed sensor, super servo, overdrive housing, converter bushing. I mean, you can see everything that they did to this transmission. I mean, there's a lot there. There's even another page with a little bit of stuff there. There's your billet triple disc torque converter. You got that. You got a deep transmission pan. Just a lot of stuff. So um, in terms of the transmission build, that's everything that was done. Now, if you guys need to get some transmission work done, there's your information. Whether it's just a rebuild or an actual build, go hit them up. Now, in terms of actually looking at the transmission, let's get out of the truck and let me look at it so you can visually see at least like the deep pan and stuff. And if you look at the transmission, they actually paint everything again so it looks new. There's your deep pan. Now, of course, before we leave this video, we need to do one last thing with this transmission, and that is do a zero to 60 pull in this truck, just in two wheel drive, but we're gonna be doing a zero to 60 pull. And what I wanna know is how much better this truck pulls and gets the power to the ground with a complete full throttle. I'm gonna put that to the test right now. I'm gonna take it to a back road around here and then just put it in drive, spool it up a little bit and just hammer down and just see how hard this truck really just pulls, even though we're still technically just under stock power with basically a street pipe exhaust. Other than that, the truck's pretty much stock. I do have a lot of stuff being done to the truck here soon, so we're gonna be doing some tuning. You guys have to wait for that kind of stuff because it's gonna be pretty freaking cool. Man, does this thing drive so good. Almost to that back road where it's gonna a little more open. You're not gonna have all these cars and roundabouts. Because of course we know that roundabouts and going 60 miles an hour does not go well. Unless you're in a drifting car, which we are not. We're in a pickup truck. There's actually a nice little straight shot right here. You can see how it holds the power and shifts through the gears pretty effortlessly, you know what I mean? Like it does it right on point, right where you want it to hold that RPM nice and high so where you don't lose momentum. I mean, the truck just, it shifts amazing. Here we are, you got a wide open road, zero to 60. You guys have to keep track on your phones. really good dang I mean this thing hit me back in my seat oh my goodness I gotta tell you Jim you built a good transmission that thing oh my goodness like the thing launched so firm like it literally like I, you couldn't see my face but my head literally went and smacked the back of my seat because it launched so firm to the ground that's that's pretty cool. Cannot wait until we get the power behind it. Like Jim said, he's like, listen, when you get the power behind this thing, he's like, it's gonna really perform its best because that's what it's built for. It's built to handle more than factory power. I'm freaking stoked about this, boys. It's gonna be so cool. So I don't know what the time was, and that's not really that important right now because the truck's not done. But the point is the shifting on this thing. He said that if you would have tried to do burnouts and just hammer down all the time on that factory transmission, he's like, it's not that the transmission was bad, like it was, failing as it is he's like they just can't handle a lot of abuse like there's a certain point when they just grenade like they, they just can't handle it anymore he said a transmission with 115,000 miles on it from uh, Chrysler it was about to be done I mean it was it was at that point to where he was getting close to saying goodbye drives amazing now that was just awesome you guys saw how it just shifted super high in the RPM to keep that momentum and keep that power to the ground and this thing just it performs absolutely fantastic if you want to take your shot at winning this truck 
with that new transmission that's built and the new wheels and tires that are going on tomorrow and then also with all the new power stuff that we're doing to over these next couple of videos go down into the description below and click that link lnpgear.com and every five dollars gets you one entry to win which is three times the entries we have ever offered before take us up on that opportunity while you can get entered and claim this truck as your own thank you guys so much smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.